Welcome. Today we'll be looking at the chimp spelling method. No matter what your learning style is, chimp has something for you. We are going to use the word chimp sort of like an acronym with each part of the word hinting at what to do. The CH stands for chunks. The I for the icky bit. M for a movie screen. And P for practice. Chunks means we break the word into chunks. The icky bit is where we find the part of the word that always tricks you. We can always get some of the spelling right, but there's some bit that makes it really difficult for us. The movie is where we look up to a blank spot on the wall or the ceiling and imagine a movie screen. Surprisingly, practice means practice the spelling of the word. It can be verbal or written and try to make a game of it. Let's try this system with the word maintenance and I'll show you exactly how it works. Yes, I know I picked a long and tricky word, but that's how confident I am that you will get this. This system will work with any word of any length. Our first step is chunks. So let's try breaking this word into chunks. There are several ways you can do this. We can split it like this. Ma, in, ten, an, ce. Or we can split it into chunks like this in syllables. Main, ten, ants. It really doesn't matter so long as it makes sense to you. Next is to find other smaller words hiding in the big word. You can underline these, you can circle them. You can even use different colours. Really, whatever makes best sense to you. Use your imagination as much as you can. You can also write the smaller words underneath. You can do either one or both, whichever works best for you. It will be best to do everything I'm showing you to start with. next part of the acronym is icky bit. Let's say you can get the first couple of letters and the last couple of letters, not a problem, but it's this bit which is tricky for you. Ainton. You might make up a saying, something like, there ain't ten maintenance jobs. Or perhaps, will maintain A in 10 minutes. It is important to use your imagination as much as possible and find something that makes sense to you. One of my students used to use all the letters in a word for the first word in a saying. He remembered because by saying Betty eats cakes and uses six eggs. The next part of the acronym is M for movie. This is where we imagine a movie screen, but it's very important to remember, look up when you do this. A high spot on the wall or the ceiling, as long as it's fairly blank. When we look up, we were either accessing or making visual memories. This part is for your visual learners. Once you are looking up, picture in your mind a blank movie screen. After this, we print the letters of the word you're trying to spell on the movie screen in your mind. You may have to look at the word even several times to get the letters up on your screen. That's not a problem. Get all the letters up there and to spell the word simply read it off. 
M-A-I-N-T-E-N-A-N-C-E. That will implant a visual memory. Remember to look up to find your movie screen when you're doing your spelling test and simply read the letters off your screen. Shh, it's almost like cheating. But it's not because you are using your memory to spell the word. The last piece of the acronym is practice. Repeat the spelling of the word several times. Try to make a game of it. You might imagine the spelling of the word in your mind or say it aloud. Time yourself, see how many times you can repeat it in 30 seconds. If you try to write the spelling several times, you might draw a rectangle and see how many times you can fit the word in there. It is really important with this method to use your imagination to find what works best for you. As I mentioned earlier, use everything I've shown you today to start with. Once you've become familiar with CHIMP, you might find that there are certain parts of it that work best for you. You may focus on just those parts, or even only one part if that works really well. 